In this video, we shall see the results of the 2022 Croydon Branch Show. And then after that, Derek Tribble, the judge, explains how judging at BCSS shows is carried out. The British Cactus and Succulent Society organises many shows around the UK each year, where hundreds of amazing drought-resistant plants can be seen. Such shows are educational for the public and help with publicity and fundraising. They give everyone the opportunity of participating actively, enabling us to see a far wider range of plants than we can grow ourselves, and, by showing best practice, help to improve standards of cultivation. I'm Derek Tribble. I was invited here today to uh, judge the cacti and succulents. I thought, um, since I've been asked to explain some of the uh, reasons for the judging today, that we might start by looking at the malaria classes uh, next to me here. We've got some lovely old plants. Uh, I was, uh, of course, attracted to the larger, older ones. Uh, in particular, we've got uh, what used to be a cochlea, uh, a malaria uh, pontii, a very large cluster compared to what uh, is normally found in cultivation. Uh, so that was a fairly obvious selection for first. But there's other wonderful large specimens here. Um, 
Valerian Candida uh, is quite a slow growing, a nice clump. And the third prize, a good sized clump, is yeah, the Valeria Germanispina, a Mexican plant. It's badly underpotted, unfortunately. Now that's certainly a bit of a negative in terms of judging, because the pot would be knocking the plant underneath. As the owner could have done more to make that so more meritorious entry. Yeah. So judging is not just a matter of my own personal decision. Um, the British Cats and Supplement Society has an agreed method of judging. Uh, they publish it in this handbook of shadows, which explains the grouping of the different uh, genera into convenient classes of fairly similar plants. So we're judging like by like as much as possible. And in the back of this is a pointing system uh, out to 20 points, which is discussed at great length, as you can imagine. And the consensus is that uh, the important factors are, of course, that the older plant is going to be to the younger plant, and that's not controversial. Uh, that a plant in better condition will do better than a plant that's got marks on and uh, shows poorer cultivation practice. And of course, a, a difficult plant will probably do uh, better compared to an easily grown plant. And it all sounds very simple, doesn't it? But of course, you get the issue of a younger, well-grown plant competing against an older plant with marks on. And finding the balance is, is quite a challenge sometimes. So it takes a bit of time. But it is just a matter of experience. So I hope that gives some indication of what uh, looked for by judges. So moving on now to the smaller box sizes, these have to fit within the uh, five and a half inch box sizes, I think. Uh, again, this uh, outstanding acre of this Mammalaria crucigera, which is a terribly slow Mexican Mammalaria, nice and green, that is the first choice of the public. And uh, I told you about the back here, doesn't have for many insects. That's its natural shape. This specimen is lovely and clean. And the height tells me it's a good number of years old. It could just about count the rings of growth on it. Back to Mabinemic Crucigera, the third prize, a much smaller plant, but uh, still, this is going to be quite old. Being quite small, some of the other plants here. Uh, maybe just to finish off with, I'll mention that uh, there's another third Mabinemic Crucigera, which is a good old plant, but uh, it's not showing much green there. It seems to be a bit more dirty, so the condition let it bounce in this company because it is all relative to what's here in the day. Okay, I hope that gives some idea of the art of showing and judging as we practice it here in the UK. Hello again. I thought we'd have a look at one of the succulent classes now. So in front of me I've got the Worthias, uh, which are favourite plants of mine. Here we've got a pair of lovely specimens of Haworthia truncata. Now the cluster. And the uh, biggest shows the flowers, although that's not a grown for, of course. It's the wonderful textures of the leaves. So you have interest all year round with these plants. Second prize was a perhaps a more vigorous, but smaller specimen. And the third prize presented very nicely in a flat Japanese style container. We have all of the Hawithia hybrids, which are very popular. But I can't pronounce the name. Also, worthy of mention, because it's a very slow growing plant, is Hawithia sorghum. This grows in the deep shade underneath large bushes 
Yeah, South Africa. And this is an old old plant. Well worth it. Highly commended. More today. So moving on now to the smaller size of the work here. Well, the next class. We've got four entries of pairs of plants this time. I wish you could have a lot of work in there. There's a lot of work in there. Because the beautiful individual mosaics of patterned leaves. You can see the last thing presented.